English 5 Quarter 3 Week 4 Milk Base Let's learn about Making generalization and summarizing various text types based on elements Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel Don't forget to subscribe Like and share and hit the notification bell for the latest video you can also follow my facebook page teacher frel tv welcome back kids for today's lesson in english 5 we will discuss about making generalization and summarizing various text types based on elements after going through this lesson, you are expected to Number 1. Make generalizations And 2. Summarize various text types based on elements Summarizing teaches students how to recognize the most important ideas in the text How to ignore irrelevant information and how to integrate the central ideas in a meaningful way. What is generalization? A generalization is a broad statement drawn from a group of facts about a topic. It must be supported by evidence that is logical and factual. Learning to make generalizations will help you develop conclusions and identify trends. In making generalizations, we may use the following guidelines. First, gather information. Second, identify relationships among facts. And third, make a generalization that states a relationship and is consistent with most of the supporting facts. A clue word such as all, most, Always, usually, or generally signals that an author is making generalization. Read the paragraph. Let's read the paragraph all together. Asthma's letter on Christmas is different in some ways. 1. It isn't a greeting card. 2. It is a letter addressed to Jesus Christ who is not a common person, relative, friend, or acquaintance. Jesus, for the Christians, is the son of Mary. And three, the letter is asking for some explanation of the untoward happenings here on planet Earth. Lastly, the letter will not be mailed but will be placed on the altar for the angels to carry Jesus. Amazingly, different in three ways, the letter holds the greatest message of all time, the message of love and justice, of brotherhood and sisterhood. And now let us answer these questions. Which sentence states the generalization? In this paragraph, the first sentence states the generalization. Asthma's letter on Christmas is different in some ways. How did you know? Because of the word some. What examples, reason, or facts? are presented to validate the generalization and what words or phrases introduce them. 1. It is a greeting card. 2. It, it is a letter addressed to Jesus Christ who is not a common person, relative, friend, or acquaintance. Jesus, for the Christians, is the son of Mary. And 3. The letter is asking for some explanations of the untoward happenings here on planet Earth. Lastly, the letter will not be mailed but will be placed on the altar for the angels to carry Jesus. Another one is amazingly different in three ways. The letter holds the greatest message of all time, the message of love and justice, of brotherhood and sisterhood. These are the words or phrases that introduce them. Like for example, the word one, two, three, lastly. Remember that generalizations are like big umbrellas. Remember, 
A summary restate only the main points of a text without giving examples or details such as dates, numbers, or statistics. When you summarize, you keep in mind the answers to the five W's and how questions. What are texts? Texts are written for a variety of purposes using different forms and standards of composition. These forms of writing are known as text type. There are two main text types, factual and literary. Factual text types include factual description, recount, or persuasive. Literary text types include poetry, narrative, or personal response. One of its kind is the narrative text. It is a type of literary text that tells a story. It presents series of events which can either be fiction or non-fiction. Fiction narrative may include picture books, cartoons, fantasy, adventure, science fiction, fairy tales, legends, fables, or plays. While non-fiction narratives include autobiography, biography, memoir, diary, and others. The basic elements of narrative include the theme, setting, characters, and plot. Theme refers to the author's message about life or human nature he or she tries to convey in the story. The setting answers the when and where the story happens. And the characters are the people, animals, or things playing an important role for the events. The plot consists of the episodes happen from beginning, middle, and ending events. Now that you already know its elements, let us find out how are we going to summarize it if we come across with a very long text. Here are some ways on how you can summarize a text. Let us read text A all together. Marius stood calmly by the door of the principal's office while waiting for his teacher. He looked farther to check on his advisor if she would be coming because she was nowhere. After a few minutes, a spectacle man was in sight. It was the school principal. Mario told the principal about the purpose of his visit. He made his statement clear why he brought his cell phone to school. He told the principal that his classmates shouted at him in their classroom, telling him that bringing cell phone was not allowed. He felt weak explaining his reason for doing it. He told the principal that it hurt him to have violated a school policy but doing this made him feel secure to text or call up his sick mother at home. He told the principal that he was sorry for doing it, but it hurt him because his purpose was concern of his sick mother. The principal patted the apologetic pupil on the shoulder and spoke kindly to him. And now, let us read text B all together. While waiting for his advisor to come, Mario visited the principal's office. His purpose was to explain why he had brought his cell phone in class. Earlier, his classmates noisily reminded him that bringing cell phone in his school was not allowed. Nevertheless, Mario told the principal that it hurt him to violate the school policy, but he had to do it. Mario said that he felt secure to text or call his sick mother. The principal just patted the apologetic pupil and spoke to him kindly. And now for the questions, how is text A different from text B? They are different because text A is the original text and it's very long, while text B is written in summarized form. Text B is the summary of text A, which is the original text. Yes, the original text is text A. How are the two texts the same? They are the same in details and in thoughts. Do they have the same idea and details? Yes, they have the same idea and details. 
Likewise, you may also use a summary chart to organize your ideas like in Story Grammar. Let's study the chart. Story Grammar The Story Grammar are The Setting Characters and Plot In Setting A when and where did the story happen? In character, it means B, who are the persons moving in the story. And these are the plot. C, what is the situation? D, how come it happened? E, how did they try to resolve the problem? F, what is the result? G, what is story trying to say? So you may use the summary chart to organize your ideas like in Story Grammar. Another way of summarizing a text is through scanning and skimming. Scanning is a technique of quick reading that helps you find specific details or relevant information. When you scan, you only find the keywords needed to answer the question. Here are tips on how are you going to do this. First, look for the key information. Second, look at each paragraph, locate the topic sentence, the first one, and decide what the main point is. Third, list the key point and include only the main ideas of the text. Skimming is letting your eyes and mind skim over the text quickly as to note the most important points. What do you do when you skim? First, let your eyes travel down the page lightly but rapidly. Second, find the keywords that tell to who, what, when, where, why, and how. And third, keep in mind that the first sentence in a paragraph or the first paragraph of an article usually contains the important details that give the general idea. As you scan and scheme, you may underline, circle, or put any mark on the words or phrase which are to be remembered. You may write the summary in a complete sentence or two, just like in the example presented below. Let us read the paragraph all together. The Moscow Circus was the biggest circus troupe ever visited the Philippines. The show officially opened at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This was held at Quezon City Big Dome. The 136-man Soviet group arrived on a big ship. The circus troupe featured world-class acts involving over 100 human performers, 10 lions, a team of clowns, a team of Cossack horses, the world's number one hula hoop artist, and Iriwa Bugrimova, the tiger tamer. The Moscow State Circus has been named after the famous clown, the legendary Karandash who heads the group. So in this paragraph, the underlined words are the keywords. The first sentence in this paragraph contained the important details that give the general idea. The underlined words are Moscow Circus and Philippines. So these are the keywords. Another keywords are that tell who, what, when, where, why, and how are this. When, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Where, Quezon City Big Dome. What, World Class Acts. Who? Iriwa Bugrimova. What? The Moscow State Circus. Who? Legendary Karandash. And now, let us proceed for the following activities. Development. A. Directions. Read each sentence. Is it a generalization? Write yes or no on the following statement. Write the signal word. Number 1. All boys love to play basketball. Is it a generalization? Yes or no? Correct! This sentence is a generalization. The answer is yes. And the clue word is all. Number 2. Some people are afraid of the dark. Is it a generalization? Yes or no? 
Correct! The answer is yes. And the clue is some. Number 3. The grade 5 learners are respectful. Is it a generalization? Yes or no? Correct! The answer is no. Number 4. My sister and my brother are fond of playing chess. Is it a generalization? Yes or no? Correct! The answer is no. And number 5. Always wear face masks in going to the market. Is it a generalization? Yes or no? Correct! The answer is yes. And the clue word is always. For development letter B, directions, summarize in 5 to 6 sentences the fable Two Cats and a Monkey using the 5 W's and how as guide questions. Read all together. Two Cats and a Monkey Once upon a time, there lived two cats near a village. They were close friends. They played, slept, and went everywhere together. Suddenly, one day, there was no food for both of them. The two cats went for the search of food. They found a loaf of bread. They began to fight over it. One cat said, No, I found it first. Give it to me. A monkey in the tree seeing them fighting said, It will be great if I get that bread. It looks yummy. He came to the cats and said, Friends, why are you quarreling? I will settle your fight. Both the cats agreed to his proposal. The monkey split the bread into two uneven pieces. One piece was large and the other piece was small. Then, he ate a portion from the larger piece, but this made the other piece larger. So, it took a bite from the other piece. Likewise, the monkey ate the whole loaf of bread. It climbed back the tree laughing at the cats. And now, summarize the paragraph. So here is the possible answer. This is the summarization of the paragraph. Once there were two friends cats near a village went for the search of food for there was no food for both of them. They found a loaf of bread and began to fight over it. A monkey in the tree seeing them fighting and settled their fight by dividing the bread into unequal parts. He ate the larger piece but made the other piece larger. So, he took a bite from the other piece until nothing left for the two cats. The clever monkey climbed back the tree laughing at the cats. For the engagement, A. Read the text below and write a generalization of the details on your paper. Let's read all together. Some astronomers believe that asteroids are the remnants of a planet that came close to Jupiter and was torn apart by Jovian gravity. Others say that they resulted from a collision between two or small planets. Still others think the solar system originated from swirling clouds of particles that once surrounded the sun and that the asteroids are rocks that never came together to form a planet. So, the possible generalization for this text is here. Some astronomers believe that asteroids are the remnants of a planet that came close to Jupiter and was torn apart by Jovian gravity. For engagement B, Summarize its elements by completing the graphic organizer. See the graphic organizer presented above. Let us read first the paragraph. The title is, Until We Eat Again, by Mary Grace de Galicia. Amidst the pandemic, fast food restaurants, let me in or let me out. Children, the young ones, and even adults really miss their experiences in eating at different fast foods together with the family. Friends or relatives due to rise in number of people infected by the virus. Fast food owners and managers think of ways on how they can still serve their food to many. 
Some open their fast food chains, but they are offering takeout through pickup or by a delivery service. There are also other people offering the what we call as pasabay in which we will pay in a minimal amount based on the location to where the food will be delivered. People from all walks of life still had a chance to eat the food served in fast food chains and restaurants even if they are at home. And here is the summarization of the paragraph. Story Grammar There are setting, characters, and plot. For the setting, the question is when and where did the story happen? The story happened amidst the pandemic. For the characters, who are the persons moving in the story? So the persons moving in the story are the owners, manager, and people. For the plot, what is the situation? The situation is children, the young ones, and even adults really miss their experiences in eating at different fast foods together with the family, friends, or relatives. How come it happened? Due to rise in the number of people infected by the virus. How did they try to resolve the problem? They are offering takeout through pickup or by a delivery service. What is the result? This way, people from all walks of life still had a chance to eat the food served in fast food chains and restaurants even if they are at home. And what is story trying to say? Family can eat together at home of the food served in fast food chains and restaurant through delivery service. For assimilation A, read the paragraph then provide a generalization. Let's read the paragraph all together. Many, if not all, infectious diseases can be prevented by some means such as immunization, hand washing, and general cleanliness. Most people are immunized against flu, diphtheria, whooping cough, polio, and tetanus. Still other people who travel in other parts of the world need to undergo vaccination for diseases like typhoid and yellow fever. True thorough hand washing and other good food habits may help prevent the spread of colds, flu, and food poisoning. Brushing one's teeth is another practical way to protect the teeth from cavities and gum disease. Most importantly, general cleanliness of surroundings contribute greatly in the prevention of diseases. So what is the possible generalization of this text? Correct! This is the possible generalization. Many, if not all, infectious diseases can be prevented by some means such as immunization, hand washing, and general cleanliness. For assimilation B, summarize the text by skimming through the selection. Your answer should be in a complete sentence or two. Cover the main idea and use your own words. Let's read the text all together. If you are reading this right now, you are taking part in the wonder of literacy. Because of printed words, people can send information across both time and space. Ideas are put in writing and sent to readers across thousands of miles and years. Because of writing, the words of distant people can influence events, offer knowledge, and change the world. Much of the credit for the development of this phenomenon can be attributed to one man. And now, for the scheming of this text, underline the words. The underlined words are Wonder of Literacy Printed Words Send Information Ideas Writing Sent to Readers Influence Events Knowledge Change the World So the underlined words are the key words of this paragraph. And now for assessment A, read the text below and make a generalization. Number 1. 
Aryan showed her report card to her friend Kyle. Aryan received all A's on her report card. Her teacher said that she enjoys having Aryan in her class. A. Aryan is a girl. B. Aryan enjoys going to school. C. Aryan received as in all of the subjects. What is the correct generalization for this text? Very good! The answer is C. Aryan received as in all of the subjects. Number 2. The canteen servers have noticed that when they serve green beans, the green beans often uneaten. When they serve squash, however, most squash are gone when the students return their lunch trays. A. Squash is a vegetable. B. More kids like green beans. C. Most students eat squash than green beans in school. What is the generalization for this text? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Most students eat squash than green beans in school. And number 3, a blue whale can reach a length of 100 feet that is almost as long as three school buses. Blue whales are thought to be as one of the biggest animals that ever live on earth. A. Blue whales are the ocean's king. B. No other is as big as the blue whale. C. The size of the blue whale is very impressive. So what is the generalization for this text? Very good! The correct answer is Letter B. No other is as big as the blue whales. For the assessment B, read the paragraph below. Make a generalization on what they prefer to eat. Octokids If you travel to ocean land to go snorkeling in the clear blue water, you will find octokids. Octokids make their houses in the coral reefs in warm waters. They love to find caves to curl up in. Octokids sometimes eat snails but always eat algae, plants, leaves, seaweed, and sea grasses. So the possible generalization for this is Octokids can be found in ocean land. They make their houses in the coral reefs in warm waters and sometimes eat snails but always eat algae, plants, leaves, seaweed, and sea grasses. And for the assessment C, summarize the story. The story is about the ant and the dove. One hot summer day, a thirsty ant was searching for water. The ant walked along until reaching the river. She climbed up on a small rock to drink the water, but she slipped and fell into the river. A dove was sitting on a branch of a tree who saw an ant falling into the river. The dove quickly plucked a leaf and dropped it into the river near the struggling ant. The ant moved towards the leaf and climbed up onto it. Soon, the leaf drifted to dry ground and the ant jumped out. She looked up to the tree and thanked the dove. Later, a bird catcher nearby was about to throw his net over the dove hoping to trap it. An ant saw him and guessed what he was about to do. The dove was resting and he had no idea about the bird catcher. An ant quickly bit him on the foot. Feeling the pain, the bird catcher dropped his net and let out a light scream. The dove noticed it and quickly flew away. And the passable summarization for the paragraph is this. A thirsty ant was searching for water until reaching the river. She climbed up on a small rock to drink the water but she slipped and fell into the river. A dove saw an ant falling to the river and quickly dropped a leaf into the river near the struggling ant. The ant climbed up onto it and soon the leaf drifted to dry ground. She thanked the dove for helping her. Later, a bird catcher nearby was about to catch the dove. An ant saw and quickly beat him on the foot so that the bird catcher dropped his net. The dove noticed it and quickly flew away. Remember, 
A generalization is a broad statement drawn from a group of facts about a topic. It must be supported by evidence that is logical and factual. Summarizing teaches students how to recognize the most important ideas in the text, how to ignore irrelevant information, and how to integrate the central ideas in a meaningful way. Texts are written for a variety of purposes using different forms and standards of composition. These forms of writing are known as text type. So kids, do you understand our lesson today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!